please welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so in today's video i will be showing you how i create my raksha bandhan 2021 look it's gonna be super simple i have been breaking out a lot so i just given myself about two weeks for my skin to actually clear up a little bit it's better but it's not the best but anyways i thought i would do a quick chit chat get ready with me for Raksha Mandan. Now this is like a tutorial as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started. We're gonna be starting with our base first. Of course, I need to actually pin up my hair. So they're out of the way. So for any kind of big event day, you need to prep your skin very well. It needs to be hydrated no matter what kind of skin type you have. I like to do my skin prep at least one hour before so all the moisturizers sink in. I'm gonna be using a lot of new different products which are gonna be affordable as well. I'm gonna start off with priming my face first. This is the e.l.f. Foreless Body Primer. I'm gonna be using this for my T-zone area. I'm just gonna be using my fingers for this. And I'm applying this wherever I think I have a lot of pores or where I get oily very quickly. So I have combination skin. I've been really liking this primer. So definitely get it if you have oily skin or large pores. So I've just applied that on my T-zone. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me all around the face. Just going to pour some on the back of my hand about that much again i have never tried this product so it's gonna be very interesting to see how it feels so i'm placing this wherever i have not applied my poreless primer from elf claims to be very hydrating so i'm applying it in areas where i get dry i'm also going to take it down to my neck Now on to color correcting. I'm going to be using this Concealer Circle Neutralizer Palette by Cryolan. Now I've never used this so again it's going to be interesting. So I need to color correct my under eyes so I'm going to be using something which is orange and peach. I might mix these two and also around my mouth where I find there's discoloration. What this is going to do is neutralize my pigmentation around underneath my eyes and also around my mouth. So I'm going to fluffy and still dense. Dip into the palette. and push the product right in right where my dark circles are I really like this color so you don't want to miss this part because it is usually very dark I'm also taking some over here right around my mouth I'm going to be using my wet beauty blender now it's not super wet it's just damp I'm just going to press the edges in to my skin better now if you don't have dark circles or if you don't have any kind of hyperpigmentation you can completely skip this step it's not necessary I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC30 it's kind of the perfect match for my skin right now I'm just going to be putting this on the back of my palette I'm not going to be directly applying it. Two pumps. And for my foundation, I like to always use a brush instead of my hands or a beauty blender. Just because it gives me more control. It gives a more even finish. This is called a kabuki brush. So what it does, it's really dense if, as you can see. And it's flat. So it's going to pack on the product really well. So I'm going to take some in the back of my palette. Just dip it in make sure it's evenly spread out now you might think that this is a bit too full coverage but that's okay you can just start blending on the same area and just keep pressing if you think that there's a lot of foundation that you put on by mistake just take it off with a beauty blender I used to actually love Furry foundation with my beauty blender but um, what it does is it actually sucks a lot of product in it. Um, if I just directly keep stamping on it, it's going to take a lot of product to wear um, which results in a wastage of the product and also like an uneven sheer finish. Like I'm not mad at sheer finish but 
I'm a full coverage gal, so I like my coverage. And whatever is left on the brush, I like to do my forehead at the very end. I'm just going to go on the edges of the color corrector. I'm not going to be putting this foundation directly underneath my eyes. I've been watching Glow Up season 3, I guess. Yeah, like I'm halfway there and it is so interesting to me. I wish they got something like that in India as well. Like I, I'm not that great at creative makeup but wow. People are so talented. Okay. And I'm also obsessed with like daily vloggers. Um, especially Diana. Diana Shikani. Just taking this a little bit down towards my neck because I don't want just my foundation to stop here. It's giving me a nice dewy finish. Now as you can see these like scars and marks and like some pigmentation is still visible. So I'm just going to use my concealer to work in a way that will actually hide those. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fulver in the shade 317 Almond. I'm going to be putting concealer right where I need it. So under my eyes, lifting them up like this. Wait over here, over here as well. So again, right where we put the color corrector, and I'm also going to put some on my chin. These areas where I need a little bit of coverage. And yeah, I'm just gonna let that sit for a while. I'm using my concealer brush and this is super angled and fluffy. Start with the forehead. Around the mouth. And also on my chin and a little bit on where there are acne scarring. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. And this is like a highlighting concealer. So if you want to bring back certain features, you can use this. So again, I'm putting this on the highest, highest points of my face. I'm using my Revolution Concealer. Now I use the shade C14, which acts as a cream contour, as you can see. I'm just going to be dotting a few lines. But I'm not going to be using a lot this time. Just a little bit. And down my face, over here, and over here. That's about it. So for our eyes now, what I'm going to do is actually start with my brows. I'm using the Miss Claire Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. And this is in the shade dark brown, brushing out any kind of product that is already inside my brows. And then with a sharpened pencil, I'm just going to start filling in the areas where I think there are sparse hairs. Nothing too dramatic. brush them out. I'll be setting my brow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Just making sure I push my hair in the same direction that they actually grow. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, the same shade that we used on our face. Taking some here. With a concealer brush, I'm just going to be Patting it everywhere on my eyelid, so everything from underneath your brows to where your eyelashes start. Today I feel like I'm going to be using this palette. It has a lot of nice and warm shades. Start off using this shade Flame right in my crease as at my transition.
and then with the shade ashes i'm gonna be placing that directly on my eyelid using a flat brush like this And then with the same brush that we used for the orange, the first color, I'm just going to diffuse this lightly. So it doesn't look like two separate colors. I think I'm going to use this shade. It's in the shade Eruption in my inner corner. I'm going to take it slightly in on my lid as well. And just diffuse it the darkest brown shade ashes and what I'm going to do is just press this right on top of your lash line blending brush you just want to diffuse that I'm going to be using the eyeliner Aurora. I've never used this before, but it's a brown felt tip liner. I'll start from the outside with very thin hair like strokes and just make sure I really concentrate. And over here, I'm just going to make a line extending out like that and then just joining from outside to inside. On my lower waterline, I'm going to be using this pack coffee brown shade of eyeliner. I'm just going to be really going in my waterline. With this both bottom and top I'm gonna be doing this eye and I'll be back for mascara I'll be using the L'Oreal Superstar false lash comes with two sides but I'd never end up using the one which has the primer I'm just gonna use the black one just start coating it like so That is amazing. I'm also going to be putting mascara on my bottom lash. So I feel like I want a little bit more shimmer on my eyelids. So I'm going to try and use, I don't know how it's going to look, but I'm going to use this color bar liquid eyeshadow in the shade starry to dispense it first rather than applying it directly. Very, very gold. So I'm only going to place this precisely. I don't want it to go everywhere. And just press it like so. For lip liner, I'll be using the Huda Beauty lip liner in the shade Trendsetter. And it's a really nice nude. A little bit towards the pink side. Just outlining my lips now. And I'm using MAC lipstick in the shade Twig. It's all over. One last thing is setting spray, so I'm using the NYX Kiwi Finish setting spray. Close my eyes and spritz this. All over my face. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this finished look. It's a really nice glam for like wedding guests, for example, or 
occasions like Raksha Bandhan or Rakhi, however you call it. I hope you guys have a lovely and safe Rakhi this year. All the products are going to be listed down in the description box. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to leave my handle right here. So you can quickly give me a follow. Take care and I'll see you very soon.